We are live in outer space riding on a giant asteroid at Sunny Alpha Stadium, home of the Galaxy Chaos. Oh, that would explain the text I just got from Event Horizon Wireless, informing me I got five grand in roaming charges. Oh, I wonder how much that text just cost me. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Cincinnati Mangles battle, the Galaxy Chaos. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrill along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. uh, no, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Yeah, you idiot. <laughs> First and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and five. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to block it. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Looks like the defense called the ginormous devastating hit knocks the ball loose. The defense just wanted it more and got it. and he's looking to score. First and four. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And that'll be second down and four. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Third and four. I 
personally think that the ginormous guys, if you don't hear it coming, and he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Picks up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Third and two. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. Second and three. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First and four. Mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Look out! That's an all-out attack on the QB. <laughs> oh, wow! If you're the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Wow, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. That's 
to catch for a 10-yard gain. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Second down and inches. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First down and nine. They just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. And that'll be second down and four. point attempt. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and seven. The defense better look out. The offense called the beast boost dirty trick. Six. That's a six yard gain on that catch. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. Is he dead? Uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap, I had money on him biting a big one. If he don't die soon, my loan shark is gonna kill me. And it's 
First and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll bring up third and one. a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Hey, man, I was hitting on the schedule now. You know what happened? Second down in a lot. And oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five yards on that play they quickly call a timeout hoping to save some time for their offense and they'll line up for the punt here and he put all of his foot into that one he's got the ball now and he's going to try and score What is this, 80s wrestling? <laughs> and it's first and ten. With a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And that'll be second and eight to go. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. They are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. First and ten. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go.
Nicely done for a first down. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. Somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. For a second there. Second down and ten. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. And the defense scrummed it out and came up with the ball. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. Look, guys, I'm supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty, he should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. <laughs> Second down, the size of... It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho, oh, ho, crowd's loving it. First and four. He took a beast boost injection. Now one pickup of about three on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. for a touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. I'm going to say maybe three.
three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Oh, I love this dirty trick. C5 folks. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Ah, did they... Didn't they just... Uh, am I losing my mind, or did that play that I saw just not happen? I gotta stop smoking them on tiny laundry pods. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. Guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he gets three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. Yeah, neither could his mother. Second down and ten. And the defense goes for the juggler and rushes to kill the quarter. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Briggs? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. You've got to catch that. down and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First down and five. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're and he runs it in for the touchdown. point but you never know with kickers <laughs> it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five First and ten. He picks up 
nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. Third and one. third quarter has ended and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting and it's first and ten and that's a run for no gain then it's not really a run is it second down and ten Nice pickup for six yards. Third and four. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway. Some kid in his bed wearing nothing but underwear made a really stupid call right there, Bricks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. secondary for you pay him for the pick six for this you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck second down and ten one speed when he tries to place it next and the ground game is starting to soften up the defense first down First and ten. Kaboom! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Dunn picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Second down and seven. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room the kick is good uh, as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself i'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring Shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. First down! 
down. I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Big for Brave Man with a ball and didn't fall out. should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. The onside kick's the desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. First and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look, he was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stopped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Second down and seven. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll bring up third and one. Warning sounds, they'll have to regroup during this timeout. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. one in for the first down smart move there stopping the clock with their first time out and for all you know maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash and the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game you can't keep a good mutant down caught for the first down They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. Thank you that line. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Second down and long. He picks up 
five on that play. Third down and eight. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. The offense is going to need a lot more than a first down, but this will be a good start. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich?